Sonic Tools torque wrenches, German engineering built to last. If you've been following us for very long, then you know we've talked about Sonic Tools before. From their organization, to their Sonic foam system, to their quality tools, they're just a great tool system. And I say system because you can buy them one at a time, but really kind of the perk is in buying their foam system where you can buy by the toolbox drawer, you can buy by the complete toolbox if you want to. And if you want to look up our past videos, we did a complete video on the S15 toolbox filled with almost a thousand tools. We've also done other reviews as well, like on the wrenches, the S10 box, so various other Sonic tools. We've had them around for years. We love them, lifetime warranty on these, so you never have to worry about these breaking and not being repaired. They're gonna take care of them for you. And you don't have to wait on a tool truck. You call them, email them, and in a couple of days, it's gonna show up at your location and you can box up the tool and send it back. And even sometimes they don't even want the tool back. So really easy warranty system. And again, you're not having to wait on the tool truck to bring those to you. Again, the organization out of the gate is just unbelievable. Different than any other tool company we've seen before. Um, everything is already pre-cut and labeled. You get the whole drawer you know, wrapped up in a shrink wrap. Basically, you get it in the box, unshrink wrap it, and put it in the toolbox drawer. Or if you buy the complete toolbox, literally they are already laid in the drawers and you just literally have to take the shrink wrap off of each one of the drawers and you're done. Uh, tonight, we're talking about torque wrenches. Uh, everything from their quarter inch, which is like uh, a range of five meters or five newton meters to 25 newton meters, all the way up to their half inch, and they even have one inch. But what we have here is the, the quarter inch, three eighths, and two of the half inch models. Now, again, when I talk about German engineering, these things are built very, very well, uh, have a nice clicking mechanism. You feel a really positive click when, when, you're, uh, when you're pulling on these. Um, the, the push button detents, everything is just engineered very well. It's got that feel to it. Um, easy to read, um, dual readings here. So you get the Newton meters on top as well as the foot pounds on the bottom. So no conversions you need to do. You can easily see that. And you even see the tenths as well uh, scroll past here. And then you have a locking mechanism on the end of the handle. So really nice tool, uh, directional. Um, so as far as your directional lever here on taking on, taking off. And then getting into that, we'll actually dig into this when we get over to the workbench. But something unique about this tool is on the anvil side or on the head side. I won't give that away just yet, so you will actually see. So let's go over here and check these out, and we'll be back in a moment. Sonic Tools has done a great job at designing their ratchets so they will be not only user-friendly, uh, but also very functional, as well as be robust. Um, and everything down to, uh, to this, this smallest quarter inch one here, which is five, meet, five to 25 Newton meters. Um, and then we go up to the 3 8 drive, uh, which is from 20 to 100 Newton meters, and then on into the, to the half inch drives that go to 400 Newton meters or 250 foot pounds. Um, they have some nice features like uh, easy lockable handle here. So pull out the handle to unlock it, and then you twist the handle to set your uh, to set your amount of resistance or to set your weight. So, and, and you have the scale here in both Newton meters and pound feet. So you don't have to do any conversions or anything. And you have a nice magnification window there where again, you can kind of look in and actually see where the red line is uh, as on both the Newton meters as well as on the uh, uh, pound feet as well. Um, and they have that on all sizes of the ratchets, and they go all the way up to one inch as well. We're just showing the half inch here. Uh, you have a directional here for on and off, uh, but keep in mind that most of your torque wrenches, they are only certified or calibrated for one direction, typically for clockwise rotation. So for tightening is typically um, what most torque wrenches are calibrated for. Got an example right here of another torque wrench, and here is the calibration card. And you can see here, it says plus or minus 3%. Now, if you look here, you see CW. Now, that's not the person's initials that calibrated this, this torque wrench. And by the way, this is not Sonic, this is another brand. But that's clockwise. It's saying that 
it was calibrated within plus or three percent, plus or minus three percent in the clockwise rotation or in the tightening, typical tightening. Um, so this torque wrench that we're not showing right here on the, that we're showing the calibration card to, it is certified in clockwise only, not counterclockwise. So if you have a reverse thread um, or left-handed thread where you have to torque something, you can't just change the direction of your torque wrench and be able to torque that. Now, what Sonic has done is pretty unique here. Uh, rather than, again, having to go through mechanism changes and things like that to change their torque wrench so that it'll work in the left-hand mode or in the off mode or lefty-loosey mode, um, what they did was did some work here, some design work on the anvil. So you'll see the anvil as we see here, and watch what happens if I push on this. So it just pushes out the other side. So basically the same direction of the directional um, uh, uh, lever there, um, you can use now on the other side of the wrench. And again, when you're ready, just push it on through. And you always know the normal side, if you will, for clockwise is the side where you're seeing the directional lever sticking up. I've got a socket welded to the table here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I've got it set, I think, at 100 Newton meters. And you'll see here, put some pressure, and I get that clicking. And again, without changing the directional lever, I can push the anvil through. And now, rather than in a pull motion, now in a push motion. In other words, in the counterclockwise, I'm still getting that torque effect and actually being able to measure my torque resistance, if you will. So pretty unique design there with, with Sonic. That's a great idea. So if you are working on vehicles uh, or machines where you need uh, that torquing ability in the counterclockwise motion or in the typical left-hand thread motion, then that's a great torque wrench for you. That's their two-way torque wrench. Um, their other torque wrench looks a lot the same. It just doesn't have that push through anvil and instead of the push through anvil you get a push button detent here that's going to release uh, release the socket so and that's what their typical uh, uh, ratchets and torque wrenches have is the push button detent so really easy to push and release uh, your typical sockets it's going to lock into place um, if you don't and then push the button and release those also as i mentioned uh, on the smaller one is the push lock here on the rear handle and then typical you know turn uh, in the clockwise rotation that's going to increase the amount of resistance um, there in the window and then obviously turn in the counterclockwise position and it's going to back that off uh, you'll also see that not only do you get the uh, uh, the window with the um, pound feet or newton meters but you also get your tenths window so your 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 as well um, that you hear right here have right here in this other window that's going to give you your tenths readings for your newton meters and or your foot pounds as well so that's basically tenths of a turn or tenths of a of a pound or newton meter so really nice setup from sonic as as typical with their tools they have really good engineers that design these things um, built very very well um, nice click to them. Uh, I've mentioned before in other, other videos, I think I did a uh, how, does, how does a torque wrench click, where we actually kind of took apart a torque wrench to look at it. I like Sonic because they have a nice, firm click to them. Now, with that said, keep in mind that when you go down to the low end of a torque wrench, that you're not going to get a loud click. So you're going to get that loud click the more resistance you add to it. Um, and basically that mechanism just slap it on the side of the of the uh, of the ratchet of the torque wrench so you can hear that and here's one of the calibration cards that come with the sonic tools torque wrenches and you can see here uh, that they're guaranteed to be within uh, plus or plus or minus three percent and you can see in this one here uh, that all the way down the card they're well within that uh, 2.13 2.38 2.4 um, so well within the range of plus or minus 3%, it passed all the tests. And by the way, when you buy a torque wrench, make sure you get a calibration card with it. Uh, your torque wrench is only as good as that calibration. And by the way, it doesn't matter what torque wrench you have, you need to have it calibrated pretty often um, and uh, make sure that your, your torque wrench is reading the correct measurements because let's face it, you're, uh, you're digging into uh, fine detail there where you're 
um, you know, in the critical fastener stage, whether it be lug nuts on high dollar wheels or whether it be head bolts on a, uh, you know, a new set of heads. So check them out from Sonic Tools. So really unique design from Sonic to be able to use that anvil to slide through so you get that clockwise as well as counterclockwise ability for torquing. So kudos to Sonic for that. Again, lifetime warranty on their tools. Hard to argue with that. Um, as far as cost goes, you can get into these torque wrenches from about a hundred bucks and up. Um, but again, the way to buy Sonic tools is by buying their foam system or buying their complete tray system. So where you're getting sockets, uh, ratchets, torque wrenches, um, and so forth in their system, or uh, again, buying whole toolboxes. By the way, they have pretty good deals for students as well. So if you're a student getting into a program or you're starting to be a mechanic or aircraft engineer, aircraft mechanic, what have you, make sure you reach out to Sonic. Check them out at sonictoolsusa.com. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button if you like this video, and hit the bell notification. That's going to notify you of future videos when they become available. Have a great day and go out and do something nice for someone.